describe this for me? We've heard we've heard the word educational. Mm -hmm. We've also heard the word not a lot of new solutions presented. How would you describe the meeting today? Therapeutic. I think that we all uh, needed to come back to the issue, return to the uh, matters at hand, which of course is uh, no small matter, uh, constructive, uh, meaningful pension reform. I think everybody in that room left with a commitment to continue the effort to come up with a comprehensive solution. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a journey getting to it, though. This notion of raising revenue, i.e. taxes or cutting benefits, how mm -hmm. much of the discussion was there, and, and where, where do you, where do the Senate Democrats come down along that line? Well, we're open to all possibilities. I believe a majority of us are. Uh, I see Senate Bill 1 as a framework within to work uh, through toward that solution. Uh, I realize that Senate Bill 1 does not envision uh, revenue, new revenue, but uh, I'm, I'm open to that uh, prospect and I think a majority of members are, whether we're talking about uh, structural tax reform in the form of ex expanding to include services such as uh, Ralph Martiri uh, discussed, <clears throat> perhaps extending along with uh, some property tax relief to uh, suburbs and downstate, uh, a bill like House Bill 174, talking about a tax swap, where we expand the or broaden the tax base, but also, also at the same time provide property tax relief. Um, uh, so there are a number of alternatives that are available to us, and I, revenue definitely, I would say, uh, has to be discussed. You know, in a tax swap, restructuring the tax system, those mm -hmm. are huge goals to get done in any session, much less you couple them with all of the urgency of the pension mm -hmm. reform. Is this something you see getting done by June 1st? Well, sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And uh, these are large fires, and the only way to put them out, I think, is with large policy, with big ideas. And uh, structural tax reform, as I'm, I just mentioned, uh, is uh, just that. It's a, it's a very formative, very large uh, uh, you know, idea and uh, policy uh, shift for the state of Illinois, but one that I believe the people of Illinois are prepared for because they are tired of going on like this. Uh, we definitely have to balance our budget moving forward, and of course, uh, meeting our pension obligation is fundamental to balancing our budget. On, on the heels, just as the temporary tax is set to expire, mm -hmm. you think most Illinoisans are going to be willing to pay more in taxes to support a benefit that they they don't see? Well, if we were to extend this, they would be paying the same. Okay, if we were to say that, look, this is what this is going to be earmarked for, perhaps paying down our our unfunded uh, liability at this point, uh, and there is a sunset date even on that, then I think that they would be open to it. What's the sunset date? Well, it's currently the sunset date is January 2015. Mm -hmm. But if we were to say if we're going to pay our pensions uh, with the, the, the money that's currently dedicated to, to the general revenue fund, but if instead we were to earmark it, it's approximately $6 billion a year. If instead of simply paying that for other programs, we were to pay for our pensions, our unfunded liability, I believe that the people of Illinois might be open to that. Is there sunset, though, on the extension? Oh, then what, then what we do? Yes. Well, it wouldn't be permanent. It would be until we actually pay down and pay so off. So 30 years sunset. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, but nonetheless, I mean, what we're saying is that there is a beginning and end to everything. All right. We understand that we have this 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 unfunded liability that we have to pay off. It doesn't necessarily have to go out 30 years. We might be able to do it, and who knows? We'd have to look at the actual oil tables. We'd have to run the numbers, but we might be able to do it in maybe 15. 20, depending on how we structure it. Yeah. So that isn't part of Senate Bill 1. Right? No, it's not. But you're asking about revenue and how we might be able to approach the question of revenue and, and paying down this unfunded liability, and I'm suggesting that might be an alternative.